We're doing this again, are we? Once again, these people do not get the hint. They are incapable of picking up the hint. And I'm got a question if they're even capable of any critical thought whatsoever. Because, my God, these kind of people, these kind of people, let me tell you, <clears throat> still going out of their way to try to tie someone to an account they clearly do not have. Look in the, um, what I tend to actually promote. Like in the low bar, in my channel banner, on Twitch. Hell, even on my fucking Discord profile. Not once do you anywhere see, I mean, not once, anywhere, do I promote a toxic platform. <sighs> These people still try to tie me to an account I clearly do not have. And honestly, this kind of comment slipped under the radar for whatever reason I did not get the notification for this comment all right so yeah I guess I'm sure you recognize me from commenting a few times here and there so if I say I popped in on your comment and throughout the years especially regarding the little moments of drama you had <coughs> well no shit Sherlock I'm gonna say this once and I'm not going to argue with you, because it isn't going to do you or any good. You need to take a step back and educate yourself a lot on important things that I don't feel you've ever been taught growing up. Um, you mean indoctrinated at this point. Because, honestly, your values and mine do not align. That much is very much clear. And since you are more familiar with my channel... You should know that I am vehemently against baby murder. I'm against all form of racism. Why do you think I have the um, stock image of, well, this? Need I remind you? Why does it matter if you need a color in for those two words, you're racist? And there are only two genders. Because, let's be honest, there are only two no matter how much bullshit your gender ideology wants to make up. A lot of people don't have positive role models and people in their lives. Unfortunately. Whether those be family or friends or to tell you when you're off track and it's really sad. <coughs> well, there's someone telling you you're wrong and someone telling you absolute insanity. Part of the uh, latter would be, Oh, look at me! I'm non-binary! Oh, my pronouns are... You don't get to pick your pronouns, dude. That's not how the world works. That's just an example of the pure fucking insanity that I'm referring to. My pronouns are... Because I'm a fucking Looney Tune who thinks I can pick my pronouns. <laughs> yeah. Kind of the reason why I tend to have... Well, for... One. This. Just say no to pronouns. Because people forcing you to use a particular pronoun and asking for pronouns, that's not normal. <coughs> Moving on, though. It's what I see in you. Because you clearly struggle mentally in some levels. You're gaslighting me. That should show you are incapable of an actually good argument. No shame in that, many of us do. Well, there is absolutely shame in it, especially when used as a political weapon, which is what you're doing. Can be difficult to find relationships. I'm in one. 
lasting friendships, etc. When that is the case, unfortunately, you've gone down some rabbit holes that are currently unhealthy for you, but the people around you. Um, no. It's gender ideology that's unhealthy for society as a whole. Look at how many people that are confused about their own fucking gender. Look at how many people who are fucking groomed into mutilating their bodies. Because, oh, you do have gender dysmorphia. Or, you have gender, uh, whatever. Let me hack off your bits and put you on puberty blockers at too young of fucking age. You cannot argue that's not child abuse. It fucking is. I, little kids cannot consent to anything. There's nothing I can think of that a little kid can consent to. Nothing at all. That's yeah another example of the insanity going on. But the left does it so they can drastically cut down on families. That's the only reason, at the end of the day. It's fucking disgusting. It's outright evil. Outright fucking evil. And it complicates the whole relationship process. It is absolutely disgusting. Consider yourself my enemy if you're in favor of that. I'm not kidding. No joke. You are my enemy if you support that. Okay, he, he mentions uh, being an executive. Like, this is your ridicule. It's definitely proven. Uh, no, it wasn't. Literally, all that was thrown was... Oh, you... you Are you into this hobby? Are you into this hobby? That's not my account, dude. If I don't promote it, I don't use it. What part of that don't you get? What part of that don't you understand? Think, McFly! Think! Four years old. Well, the um, length of the channel's existence doesn't exactly prove anything, but whatever. Honestly, I didn't even know that account existed until <coughs> that other insane idiot tried to tie me to it. And thus, I had to make that response that you posted a comment on um, that I'm responding to right now. You don't have anyone who pays close enough attention to your channel well, to create elaborate false account to sabotage you. As I've argued previously, it doesn't really play a factor. Again, I have seen smaller accounts get the imposter syndrome. Just because you don't think it can happen? Oh boy, you have not been paying attention. The problem, especially when it happens to smaller accounts, they don't have the means to act actively defend themselves. They can make a response, but who is really going to hear it? Are you getting the point? You may not think it happens, but I have seen it. It's outright disgusting. It's not just the big creators that get the imposter syndrome. But instead of reporting the account, you decide to weaponize it. That's not my account, dude. You've even linked your YouTube channel on the Reddit. To try to make it seem legitimate, if that's actually the case. Sorry, that's not proof of me owning the account. You gotta do better than that. We are towing the line of what's okay and what's not. And you need to understand, it's very, very important to understand what... You know, sitting here screaming denials is pointless. It's not just screaming denials. I'm not going to bend the knee and say it has something when I don't. Like, you could force Emil to bend the knee, but, dude, I'm not Emil. Take a kind of and check yourself before you wreck yourself. 
I should be saying the same to you. Especially with this little gem. Your interests on the account are unhealthy. Everyone ha can everyone can have different tastes. Just like Chuck and Conroy, it's perfectly allowed to have a foot fetish. Dude, it's been proven Chuck and Conroy does not have a foot fetish. And you say I need to be held accountable. <laughs> yeah, um, let's hold someone to an account they don't have. I have proven Emil does not have a foot fetish. Nowhere in the Emily's screenshots does it even imply a foot fetish. It's been entirely about shoes. And don't try to tell me shoes are a part of foot fetish. Someone tried arguing that on Twitter. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Someone on Twitter tried arguing shoes is a part of foot fetishes, and it's not. It's a piece of fabric. It goes on your shoes. Uh, on your shoes, sorry. It goes on your feet. That doesn't mean shoes are a part of a foot fetish. That is absolutely retarded. It's pretty apparent. You don't have inclination towards... Uh, in inclination? Incan incantation? Inclination? Am I, am I saying that right? Towards juvenile looking women. I don't. <coughs> there is nothing wrong with flat or petite women. That much is true. Nothing is wrong with flat or petite. You got at least that much. Line was. Oh yeah, I've I've read that already. What am I doing? Additionally, it's been obvious for Al, in part of why I'm been paying attention to your channel. <coughs> that you're super into toxic, hateful individuals like Tim Pool. How is Tim Pool in any way, shape, or form hateful, let alone toxic? I seriously want to know that. Just because you say he's toxic and hateful doesn't mean he is. Dude says it as it is. He's gone after conservative voices. He's gone after liberal voices. He goes after both sides of the aisle. I want to know how that is toxic and hateful. Psychos, but there's absolutely no defense towards engaging in the type of content they produce. Does it really need to be defended? I go to Tim Pool because he's one of only few actual reporters out there, and he's not scared to tell the truth. That's what I respect about Tim Pool. And I don't think I needed a I don't think I need to defend being subscribed to Tim Pool, Timcast how you're all into the Timcast channel. No. Fuck that. I'm proud to be a subscriber of Tim Pool. Yes! Subscribed! If that makes you angry, then honestly, I don't know what to tell you. It's absurdly cruel towards different group of people, name one, such as people with mutilated bodies, I've been a long time con consumer of Tim Pool's content. And I've not heard one, not even one, disparaging comment or statement that he's made that is disparaging towards people with a mutilated body. I want to know exactly what you think he said. There was no actual value to take in your head, apart from calling out the mainstream media again and again and again. Hell, he was on the ground when it came to Occupy Wall Street. He's seen firsthand the division that started during that protest. So I would honestly trust him sooner than anybody 
on the mainstream media. The CNN, MSDNC, Fox News, any one of the mainstream media whatsoever. Well, I guess Tucker Carlson would be one exception, but he's no longer on Fox News. So, take that as you will. Yes, I have respect for Tucker Carlson. Sue me. You yourself very clearly feel comfortable with identifying with female avatars like your squid girl, which is cool and totally fine. Also paints you as a self loathing hypocrite. How does it paint me as a self loathing hypocrite to have my VTuber model being inkling with a Monado wearing the Day 9 Shock Trooper uniform? How does that make me self loathing? And Anyway, but this, yeah, this is literally no different than a feminazi telling a woman that she is a internalized misogynist because she is vehemently against, well, let's be real, the hate group. Literally the same lack of reasoning. Make better friends. Don't defend content creators based on your biased, parasocial feelings towards them. Dude. Whether or not it's parasocial is irrelevant. Because I stand on principle. I have seen everything that has been released regarding Sugar Conroy. Everything has been false. From Emily's accusations and screenshots... To Aunt do say anything without any real backing, no evidence, no screenshots, no nothing. To Miss Ayanella fanning the flames with no evidence to back up her side of the story. To a now debunked Google document posted by a Lolly with two accounts claiming to be Chucky Conroy with a birth date wrong. One claiming, oh, I was born in June. Uh, another, January. That doesn't hold up. Anybody who knows Chucky Conroy knows he was born on April the 3rd. <coughs> <coughs> but heaven forbid people stand on principle, right? If you defend a content creator, it's a parasocial relationship. <laughs> What an idiot line of logic that is. And if I had known him personally and had a much more personal connection, you still would have called this biased. Oh, you're only biased because you're best personal friends with him. It's a lose-lose with that stupid line of logic. Or, let's be honest, lack thereof. <clears throat> People make mistakes. People do awful things. And people are accountable for their actions. Chugga didn't scream. It wasn't me. Did he really need to? I'm pretty sure someone doesn't need to. If they do, great. But if we're being honest here, the evidence speaks for itself. when the information came out. Check the ability for doing something wrong. No, he apologized despite doing nothing wrong in that situation. I don't think that was wise because... Okay, I'm just going to say, he meant well, and he thought it would quell the hate. No, it only intensified it. I still argue Chucky Conroy should have defended himself. But the fact that he didn't only made the situation worse. This is why you don't placate to the hate mob. Take notes. Because even though you don't matter as much as a content creator on the internet in terms of popularity or anything, your life does matter. 
and you make choices. Be a better person and absorb better. Kinder knowledge. Does knowledge have to be kind in order to be acceptable? <clears throat> Not everything is sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. If you're going to take in the good news, you also have to be willing to accept the bad news. The good news, an example of that would be someone having a family. That's excellent news. But, and that's a big but. Some bad news, people getting murdered. You have to take the ups and downs. So, news might be brutal to hear, but if it's accurate, it's necessary. And understanding your peers, you can do better. <clears throat> yeah, I can do better by continuing to fight the hate mob. And it's clear I need to be speaking out louder. I've even said in the original video, if you see either username or part of the account, don't even interact with it. I find it disgusting that instead of doing that, you choose to weaponize it in order to try to force me to bend the knee. Honestly, this just reeks of terminally online behavior. Just absolutely terminally online. I, even I go outside every now and then. Maybe you should, oh, I don't know, take the common advice and touch some grass. And actually take two seconds. Two seconds. And think. Is this account legitimate or not? You'll point to the um, apparent YouTube link, if it's there or not. I don't know if it is, because I refuse to go to Reddit. I have seen so many imposters paste a link in order to make themselves look, legit legit look legitimate. There you go, tripping on my words. Yet again. I really got to work on talking a lot slower. But, regardless of that, I always stay off of toxic platforms, which is ironic because I'm on Twitter. I... Now, there is also the new channel I created, Data Dine Executive IRL, here on YouTube. Like, I'm going to be doing vlog videos for that. With my handy new camera, like I said in the live stream. That's just it. You need to realize, if I don't promote something, I don't use it. If I don't promote it, I don't even have it. So it's insane that you keep trying to tie me to Reddit. But that's clearly not the case. You're not going to listen, but if you see either username on Reddit or part the account and don't interact with it, honestly, think about it for two seconds. If I'm telling people not to interact with the account, can you reasonably say it's mine? Maybe get your critical faculties in check before you even so much as try to make that argument again. 